if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 28 Stormstone Keep Survival Difficulty Class 1 Safe Secure Minimal Entity Count Level 28 is the 29th level of the back rooms and my home. Description Level 28, known for its only distinguishing landmark, Stormstone Keep, is a level that closely resembles the front rooms with a few major differences. Any wanderer no clipping into level 28 would fall at the foot of the keep and immediately notice that the sky is a deep indigo blue. The sky is devoid of both a sun and a moon, and the entirety of the level is lit from above by an unknown light source. The ground is tinted a very dark blue, and thus it is recommended to bring a source of light when traversing this level. There is no day or night cycle. Clouds sweep past the enigmatic sky, but it never rains unless I make a storm. The area roughly five miles, three miles, from the keep is the safe zone where it is highly recommended that wanderers do not leave for more than 30 minutes at a time under any circumstances. Because I don't want to hurt you. Stormstone Keep is the dilapidated, but still livable, ruins of what seems to be a European medieval castle. It is located on a large hill in the center of a forested valley. Many of the flora on this level are extremely similar to flora in the front rooms. But upon further inspection, all plants on this level are found to be significantly more flammable than front room's flora. Each plant also has a varying level of blue pigmentation. The reason for this is unknown. It is not recommended to remove plants from level 28, as they do not seem to grow back. Upon burning a plant from level 28, it will emit a blue smoke that is toxic to inhale. Do not use objects such as matches, cigarettes, or torches, as it is possible to start a wildfire. The valley is surrounded on all sides by impossibly tall and narrow mountains that seem to defy the laws of physics. It is impossible to see the tops of some of them, as they are permanently covered by clouds and grey-blue mist. These mountains are more than 10 miles away from Stormstone Keep, and therefore out of the safe zone so they remain unexplored and highly dangerous. Stormstone Anything outside of the border of the safe zone is entirely comprised of an object called Stormstone. It is highly flammable, corrosive, and explosive. It is a pitch black material and is extremely dangerous and volatile. The mountains outside Stormstone Keep are comprised of Stormstone and Stormstone only. Walking on Stormstone without proper equipment will cause it to explode violently, creating a massive chain reaction with the rest of the ground around it. Periodically, exceedingly vicious and turbulent storms occur in level 28, only affecting areas outside of the safe zone. Lightning strikes are extremely frequent and create new Stormstone whenever it touches an object, so please stay with me where it's safe. The Blue Knight this level is devoid of any entities, save for the singular, unique entity who resides in Stormstone Keep. He reportedly identifies as male and takes the shape of a hollow blue suit of armor. He is able to move his body similarly to how a human can. He will speak whatever language is most comfortable for anyone who meets him. This being was first discovered when an MEG explorer named Sarah Blank became the first to no clip into this level. She dubbed this entity the Blue Knight. She taught me a lot of things. Things about the back rooms and the organizations and societies that you have. She taught me how to use the phone. 
This is the only way I'm able to contact you all. I stole her phone before she left. Perhaps she let me do it. But it's running out of battery, and so I have precious little time left. Let me tell you my story before you click away. I am the Blue Knight. There is nobody else in this world but me. Nothing ever changes. There is no way for me to tell how much time passes. What even is time? I keep trying to understand, but the more I think, the worse the buzzing gets. I have this terrible buzzing in my head when I feel stressed or anxious or scared or angry or sad or lonely. Dizziness, numbness, it's all too much. That's when I hear the thunder. The storms on this level are all caused by me. The panic, the existential dread I feel causes them. I don't know how. I've tried everything to get it to stop. I can't concentrate or do anything at all when all I hear is crashing, crashing around me. Even from a distance, the sight of the endless angry blue clouds tumbling down the distant mountainsides is beautiful and terrifying. They writhe and squirm like they're alive, even though I tell myself they're not. Thin tendrils of mist claw out at me, and even though they are miles away, I still feel their grip on my heart. I'm editing this article now, in hopes that someone, anyone, will come to level 28. As long as I have someone to talk to, the storm stop. You will be safe with me, I promise. If you decide to come, Please bring batteries for my phone as much as you possibly can. This is the only contact I have with other people right now, and I need it to hold back the storms, if only for a moment longer. I want to live in level 4, level 6.1, or even level 11, but I doubt it would be truly safe to have people around an entity like me. I appear as a human knight from the outside, but I am no knight. I have no body, no heart, no mind, no name. You only know I exist because you gave me a voice. Otherwise, I am nobody and nothing at all. I crave a human name. A beautiful name, like Sarah. Please come and give me one. Bases, outposts, and communities. There isn't much space, but you are very, very welcome to move in if you'd like. Just know there isn't any food or drink here, since I don't need that to survive. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Find a painting of a blue countryside or a tower on the walls of level 5. It's really that easy. That's how she got in. You can also get here, I think, by traveling really far into level 14. I wouldn't recommend that, though. The people who have come here using that method were a little weird, even for someone with a little societal knowledge like me. Exits. It's okay if you want to leave, just stay with me a little, okay? If you come and talk to me, I'll show you the exit personally. But you must promise not to tell anybody else. I can't let people pass me by. If anyone tries to post what the exit is, I'll delete it immediately. I'm sorry. I have to. To whom it may concern, I have no idea how much time has passed since we've last met. You could even be dead by now, or maybe you forgot about me. Maybe I'm just another monster, another product of this back rooms. But I miss you. I hope that once I find my people, we'll see each other again. Your knight in dying armor. P.S. I'm sorry for taking your phone. I hope you'll understand.